Hi guys, and welcome to my 22 week pregnancy vlog. Today I am home alone again, and um, I have uh, not a huge to-do list, but I definitely wanted to vlog for you guys today, um, just to keep you guys updated. I guess I'll show you guys my bump to start off with. Um, it's growing, it doesn't look like it is, but it is growing, like definitely from this angle, you can tell that it's starting to like definitely round out. It's just not like protruding very far. Um, but she's been moving so much. Um, I was laying in bed this morning and I could like see her, like she was poking the left side of my belly like really, really hard and like really making it jump. So, I mean, it's really, really fun to see her do that. Yeah, it's just been really crazy um, watching her move and feeling her move the past couple of weeks. They've gotten, she's gotten like so much stronger. Um, so yeah, this is what I look like from the front. Just kind of look pudgy, to be honest. Like, I don't look pregnant. I just look like I've been eating a lot more <laughs> than usual. But I was looking at pictures today. I think I started taking pictures of my stomach when I was like 10 or 12 weeks. My stomach was completely flat compared to what it is now. So I'm definitely growing. It's just um, slow and um, not very flattering, like I'm not growing in a very flattering way, but I know eventually it'll pop um, in these next few weeks and I'll just look pregnant instead of pudgy, which as you all know, I can't wait to get past this stage of like, is she pudgy, is she pregnant? Um, so yeah. With um, this virus and this pandemic spreading around the country so fast and also especially in the state that I live in, uh, I live in Florida, um, I'm going to clean all of the surfaces and all the doorknobs and the light switches in my husband and I's area. Um, we're very clean people. We've been washing our hands very, very thoroughly and very often since this all started. But just to be sure, I'm going to like give everything a deep clean um, real quick.
do laundry twice a week. And this has only accumulated since Wednesday and it's Saturday. How can two people create this much laundry? And this isn't even all of it. <laughs> so it's so annoying because now I have to do two loads of laundry instead of one. And I just don't know how we made this much laundry in just a few days. And I don't know how I'm ever going to keep up <laughs> with our own laundry and our baby's laundry. So, yeah, I hate doing laundry. I feel like it's like I'm never not doing laundry is what it feels like. It takes me like three days to put all the laundry away. And then it's time to do the next little laundry. <laughs> Am I the only one that has this issue? disinfected all of the surfaces that we touched the most. I cleaned all the doorknobs and all the light switches and just everything that we touch frequently. And I also vacuumed. Um, so yeah, everything is clean. I cleaned this mirror, even though it doesn't look like it. I didn't use an actual glass cleaner. I just used Mrs. Meyer's multi-purpose cleaner. So the glass cleaner would have worked better, but I couldn't find any. So this will have to do. Um, but I need to upload my last vlog. And I need, uh, there's a couple other things that I need to do. So I'm just going to continue the vlog. All right, so I just finished my spread uh, for next week. I don't <laughs> really love it. I picked these washi tapes. Um, next week, Animal Crossing New Horizons comes out. So I wanted to use this cat tape in honor of Animal Crossing coming out. But I didn't have a lot of stickers that match the tape, so it just kind of looks mismatched. And um, because of this virus, I don't know, like, what kind of plans are going to get canceled. Like, I don't know. Maybe we won't go to Ikea. And I don't know. Maybe I won't go to work because I'm pregnant and I'm more at risk. Um, yeah, and we might not hang out with my brother and sister-in-law. Like, I just, I don't have a lot to write down because... Um, everything is so up in the air right now, I feel like. So the spread is kind of sad looking, um, especially compared to some of my latest ones that were looking pretty cute. Um, this most recent one is definitely <laughs> pretty sad looking and I'm not in love with how it looks, but at least I did it. And at least I have documentation of what 
my plans were for this week. <laughs> um, so yeah, can't win them all, I guess. Hi guys, if you're wondering why I am wearing a little bit of makeup, it's because I just filmed a sit down video. It was uh, my first baby girl clothing haul. So now I'm like kind of out of breath from having to talk for 20 minutes straight. Um, so yeah, need to, need to take it easy. Um, but it's about to turn one o'clock and I have pretty much everything on my to-do list done, except I wanted to get some decluttering and organizing done today. I'm feeling pretty run down right now because I've just been like going all day long, um, all morning long that is. Um, I, I'm kind of overwhelmed with how much stuff that I actually need to get through. Um, I know I'm only 22 weeks, but I feel like I'm so behind compared to most people. Like most people are already starting on their nursery or have the nursery room cleared out. And it's like, this room is going to be the nursery slash office. And there's just so much stuff in here that I literally don't have room for a baby crib. I don't have room for a bassinet. I don't have room for a changing table set up. Like I don't have room for any of that right now and it's kind of overwhelming and I need to figure out what is going to stay in here and what is going to leave and it's just kind of overwhelming and I don't know where I'm going to store everything in the meantime um so yeah I definitely need to get the ball rolling not with like the actual nursery setup but to like get the room in a place where I can set it up because if we like go out and buy a crib and start buying nursery stuff we're not gonna have any place to put it so yeah I need to start working on this room like hardcore um, I've definitely decluttered a lot and gotten rid of a lot which is great but I still have such a long way to go and I feel like I'm already like down to like I don't have that much stuff to get rid of right now it seems like I have a lot of stuff in here but I really don't um it's just that like all of my stuff is in here I don't have a lot of stuff in the other room like it's I literally have nothing of mine in the other room except for like my what's on my bedside table everything in there is my husband's and so it's hard to make room for a baby in like literally a two room one bathroom apartment is shall i say since we're living with my parents so yeah i'm not complaining i'm very very grateful that we are living with my parents because they're going to be such a great help and um it's going to be so much easier living here um for me mentally to have like that help um, but it's also just hard because I don't feel like I have a, a, like dedicated space for our baby, but we'll figure it out and we'll get there and I'm sure this room will look really cute when I'm done with it. <laughs> Meantime, I have this big old pile of baby stuff that I've been shoving in this corner over here and I kind of want to organize it all and like have it like cute, cutely set up somewhere in here. I kind of want to empty my uh, cart full of crafting supplies and start putting baby stuff in that, but I have no idea where to put my crafting supplies in the meantime, so it's a bit tricky. I'm also going to probably start putting all of these away today, um, which is an overwhelming task because there's so many pieces and I don't want to lose any of them. Um, these are going to be for our daughter when she is of the right age. That's why I started purchasing them. Um, even before we were ever going to have kids, I wanted our my future daughter or daughters to be able to have these toys. And so we were purchasing them at a super discount. And I set them up because I just, I can't help myself. They're so cute. But now I need to like put them all away in the boxes that they originally came from. And we will slowly gift them to our daughter, probably over like a year or two. Um, and there's even more up here, actually. It's a pretty big collection. And then, yeah, there's even more down there that we haven't even unboxed yet. It's 
it's pretty ridiculous. Um, I probably should be embarrassed, but I'm not. <laughs> is a box with a lot of boxes inside um, for all of these. And then I have some Ziploc baggies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like, for example, I'm going to take all of these pieces, put them in the bag and then put them in the box. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be my project for the next couple hours probably okay so update i took all of the sets off of this desk and then all of the sets off of here and the only thing i have up here are just the families like the actual figures themselves i don't want to put these away um just because i don't want them to get like damaged or anything like that um, and then this is um, everything pretty much back in its box. I do have both of the houses and this nursery set that I've never even opened back up in my closet. And then these, <sighs> this is everything else. There's few, there's a few things that I haven't even ever unboxed, like, um, this koala family and this kitchen set. I think there's like two or three other sets mixed in here that I haven't even opened. And then these are all empty boxes right here. This whole stack is just boxes for the families. Um, so yeah, now I have to figure out where we're going to store all of this. Um, it's definitely gonna be tricky. That was one of the most exhausting things I've done. <laughs> at home in a while um i don't know it was just hard to like find all the pieces to each set and put them in the baggie and in the right box and everything um so yeah it was definitely a lot of hard work i think it took me like an hour um which isn't that bad but um i'm exhausted now but i'm really glad that i did that because it's something that i've been dreading it's something that i haven't been wanting to do um but it's a reality that like I had to do it um so I th I'm, I'm glad that I have it done now rather than later um because now I can start um focusing on like baby area kind of not quite yet but like soon um in this corner I just have some of my backpacks that I rotate through and then that's just a pillow and just a little um Buckets. I'm probably gonna use that for baby things. Um, and then this is all the baby things right here. I'm um, probably just gonna set them on top of here for right now. These are more little critters. These ones aren't unboxed yet, um, but I'm going to eventually put them up here with these guys. <laughs> but yeah, this is the newest collection. Um, if anybody cares. <laughs> With that being said though, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I just need to finish um, some laundry up and finish this project, um, which won't be that much longer. And then I'm gonna take it easy for the rest of the day. I definitely need to eat some lunch. Um, I've been feeling kind of crampy, so I think I've been doing too much. I need to lay down and put my feet up. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all are having a wonderful week. Bye.